UPBG gives you the option to code in multiple different situations, multiple different methods. You have the logic bricks, but we also have logic nodes. Now, coming from the ARM 3D background, I myself feel a lot more comfortable with logic nodes. So let's go ahead to the game engine section of the add-ons and activate the logic nodes plus add-on. Now, this might take a while because there's a lot of information that's been packed into UPBG, but once you've got this, you can go ahead to the download to install the logic nodes or update it if there's been an update. Uh, so you get the access to the latest logic nodes available. Now we can go ahead and change the window to be the new logic node editor panel. Now click that and then we get access to the logic node editor. And like I said, there are different ways of coding. You have the logic bricks, which is the BGE classic way of adding code or bricks to your game. But we can go back to the logic node editor and here we have access to a different way of coding inside of UPBGE and that is logic nodes. So here you can see we can create a new node tree and then we can start adding nodes to it. So we have many different nodes in here, but the search is broken, unfortunately. However, you can use F3 to bring up the search and you can search for any node you like using F3. However, if you want to change this, you can go to the key mat area and down all the way to the search area, you can select this uh, search menu window and assign a new key to it by pressing it and then pressing whatever key you want. For example, space key or whatever you want. Let's leave it at F3 because that is the uh, default for UPBGE. Now, once we got this, we have access to all the different nodes and the reason search is rather important is if you're not familiar with these nodes, then there are a lot of windows within windows. So nodes are really hidden away. So having access to whatever node you want really fast by just typing in is a good thing to be aware of. Now that we've got this, we can actually go ahead and start adding nodes to your logic node tree, but we have to actually assign it to an object for it to run. To do that, let's go ahead to the dashboard and here you have this little apply to selected icon. By clicking this, it's going to apply this node tree that we're building out here to the object. So it's going to actually be played and uh, compiled and actually run the logic code that we're working on. Now, you probably already know about the uh, node bricks of uh, logic inside of UPBGE, but uh, logic nodes is something that is an add on form, so you might not have heard of it. But more particularly, there is a hybrid solution to learn uh, sort of the logic bricks in logic node format and that is this other add-on that you can activate and this essentially allows you to convert your logic uh, bricks inside of UPBGE into a sort of node format so you can sync it up by pressing this button and create the node version of your logic bricks and this is a great way of visualizing it because node bricks I don't really like it because it's very claustrophobic but logic nodes you can space out and zoom out so it's a very good thing to be aware of.